so today i am going to discuss that how to derive hamilton's canonical equations of motion uh, using poisson's bracket or in terms of poisson bracket right so for this let us consider a poisson bracket it's a q i h poisson bracket of q i with h and it can be written as summation r and curly q i over curly q r and curly h over curly p r minus curly q i over curly p r and curly h over curly q r we can write down it in this manner but the partial derivative of this term it comes out to be zero because it, it is the partial derivative of qi with respect to pr so if it is zero then it can be written as summation r curly qi over curly qr curly h over curly pr and we call it as delta ir so if it is delta ir then it can be written as uh, that it is summation delta ir curly h over curly pr and it is uh, right summation over r but as i know that delta ir is equal to 1 for i is equal to r so if i put its value here then it can be written as curly h over curly pi <coughs> and uh, similarly if i talk about uh, pih poisson bracket of pih so again um, if we call that it is pi h its poisson bracket then it can be written as summation r curly p i over curly q r and curly h over curly p r minus curly p i over curly p r and curly h over curly q r that's what i will consider here but now this is also zero so if it is zero and then this minus can be taken outside so i can write down and this can be written in the form of delta i r so it is delta i r curly h over curly q r but for i is equal to r delta i r is equal to 1 so keeping this in mind this can be written as minus curly h over curly q i right that's what i am getting but if i recall poisson bracket sorry if i recall uh, canonical equations of motion then curly h over curly p i it is q i dot and minus curly h over curly q i it can be written as it is p i dot so if i sum up these this equation 1 and 2 then i can write down that p i dot must be equal to minus curly h over curly q i and it is equal to p i comma h its poisson bracket and similarly q i dot can be written as curly h over curly p i it is q i comma h its poisson bracket so these two equations expresses that uh, hamilton's canonical equations of motion in terms of poisson bracket that's what we have proved here now we have to uh, now i want to discuss some important points with you here in addition to it so let, let me discuss some important points important points so so first point is that if pi is constant of motion 
which implies P i is constant or I can say that curly P i over curly T it must be equal to 0. So thus if I use this then P i H at position bracket it is equal to P i dot and this is nothing but it is P i dot so it is equal to 0. So that means if P i is constant of motion I used it here constant of motion that means its Poisson bracket with the Hamiltonian is always 0 right that's what I am getting and second point which we have to keep in mind is that that if g is g p q g is a dynamical variable and it it is not depending upon time or i can say that time does not occur explicitly in the expression So if doesn't occur in this expression, then I can say that curly g over curly t equal to 0. If it is so, so let me recall that dg upon dt is equal to curly g over curly t plus g and h as we have uh, discussed this uh, during the definition of uh, Poisson bracket, uh, sorry, uh, definition of Poisson bracket. So, but it is 0 from this. So therefore, dg upon dt is equal to the Poisson packet. Also, if gh at Poisson packet will be equal to 0, which implies this g is constant of motion. Thus, uh, we can talk about the constant of motion in terms of Poisson bracket and this is very interesting point which we are getting. So this is all about this. Now in the next lecture I will talk about a very interesting uh, identity and we call that as a Jacobi identity. So that is all for this uh, lecture.